Hello and welcome to Postcard Defined. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. And today we're going to do something your mother said you should never do. Drugs. No, meeting dodgy people off the internet. So come with us as we take two Americans up the Mersey. It was to be a day of lamb bananas, ferries and all things magenta. We couldn't wait to get started. But first, let's start the day off with a pep talk. Right you, a couple of things before we meet them. You've got to be on your best behaviour today. I think they're a bit posher than us. What makes you say that? Well, they like cream teas and Earl Grey. We like chips and lager. So, absolutely no farting and you cannot swear. I can swear. You can't. What did you just call me? Oh dear. What could possibly go wrong with us chaps meeting YouTube royalty? Off to Hooten to catch the train. You're looking good, guys. Away we go into the heart of Liverpool. We're here! We'd arranged to meet in the Duke Street Food and Drinks Market. We'd never been there, so we're looking forward to it. But where are you? And who is it you're meeting, I hear you ask? We're in Liverpool, now let's go find them. And if you never hear or see of us again, Magenta Otter Travels did it. Yes, it's Dora and Ian from Magenta Otter Travels. They're on a bit of a tour of the UK at the moment, and Liverpool was one of their stops. We were so excited to meet them. This looks really lovely. Now, where are they? There they are. We learned all about photographing our food for Instagram and then sat back and watched the professionals do it. With chili and coriander sour cream. Also known as cilantro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how the professionals do it. They certainly do. If you would like to see a more classy type of content, check out their channel, Magenta Otter Travels. It's all going well. We've made it through lunch and Wills hasn't farted or said the C word. And I don't mean Christmas. It was an absolutely beautiful day and we were so glad our American friends were getting to see Liverpool at its finest. Well done lads. And that's the naughtiest word you'll hear today. Poo. We're off to ride the ferry. Woo! Now we hadn't done this for years, and it was the perfect day for it. There's something for everyone down at the waterfront in Liverpool. There's plenty of bars, seagulls and street food. And incredible architecture, both old and new. We walked from the Albert Dock down towards the Liver Buildings to the ferry terminal at Pier Head. What a lovely couple Dara and Ian are. I feel we are now firm friends. Ooh, there's the ferry. Better get a wriggle on. Just time for a bit more chatting, a couple of lamb bananas, a cheeky peek at the liver buildings, and then on to the ticket office. It's sweaty hot, but we've managed to get on. We're off on the ferry on the Mersey. Tickets cost £11.50 per person return, and the tour takes about 50 minutes. Let's go. I dread to think what their video is going to look like with us galahs on it. All aboard and away we go. The water looks so blue in this reflection. It is in reality brown. It was a beautiful day for this cruise and we were all working on our Scouse tans. You get such a wonderful view of the city from the ferry. The three graces were looking exceptionally splendid. After a quick blast of ferry across the Mersey, there is a running commentary of what you're seeing and some history of the ferries and river. We were all having a lovely time. Did you know there are records of ferries making this crossing since the 12th century? In those days, monks used to charge a small fare to row passengers across the river. The first steamship to operate on the River Mersey was the Elizabeth in 1815. This is going to be Everton Football Club's new ground. Ian told us this. 
We had no idea they were moving. How embarrassing. This is one of the vents for the tunnels that run beneath the Mersey. One of the most famous ferries was the Royal Iris. She started service in 1951. She did hundreds of party cruises and had bands such as Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Beatles playing on board. Cool. It was fun to explore the ferry and enjoy it for leisure purposes. One of my memories of the ferry was back in the late 80s when I was in college. There were train strikes every Wednesday for quite a time and we had to get a ferry across to college. It was freezing cold and added an hour to your journey. Not good times. And there are history information boards on the ferry if you want to learn more. Your first stop is at Woodside on the Wirral, start point of those freezing college journeys. You can get off here and take the train back if you wish. Now, are you having a good time? Absolutely loving this. We haven't done this for years and years and it's been really nice to get back on and remember so many facts that I didn't know. I'm loving it. Glad to hear it. Bye Woodside! The current ferries that run are the Royal Iris and Snowdrop. These boats came into service in the 1960s and were then named Mount Wood and Woodchurch. What incredible service they've given and they're still going strong today. Cool shot. Check her out doing her Insta pose. Ooh, Dara's doing selfies with Bella and Bertie. It is said that the River Mersey is now one of the cleanest in Europe. Uh, really? Looks pretty brown to me. Cheers, Jerry. A quick Uber across town to somewhere else we'd always wanted to go to. The Philharmonic Dining Rooms, dubbed a cathedral amongst pubs and John Lennon's favourite boozer. John Lennon once said, the price of fame is not being able to go into the fill for a quiet pint. Those two rooms are called Brahms and List. That's rhyming slang for... Drunk, right? Go on, get him in, Ian. We enjoyed exploring this incredible building. Mmm, pie. This room is where Paul McCartney played an impromptu gig when he did James Corden's Carpool Karaoke. Do check that out. It's amazing. We then sat down and chatted and chatted. What a lovely couple they are. After a few drinks, a toilet break was needed. Now, the gents' toilets here are famous for their original Victorian design. They are one of the most Instagram blues in the UK. And no, Wills, we don't need to see you stand and deliver. They are pretty incredible, though. The poshest toilets we've seen and most fitting for our American guests. The day was drawing to a close and it was time for us to head back to Wales. Thanks, Dara and Ian. Here are some magenta flowers just for you. Well, that was a lovely day and what two absolute diamonds of people. Absolutely loved meeting them, chatted and chatted, could have stayed chatting for hours, hours, but we had to shoot off. But we had a great day and I think they enjoyed their trip up the Mersey. I think they really enjoyed it. In fact, we did try and film them, giving their little opinion on what they thought about it. But unfortunately, I messed up. Well, I didn't mess up, the camera messed up. So we don't have that clip, but they did enjoy it. Yep, Dara said she really enjoyed being able to get a full photo of the cathedral because yeah. it's too big close up. And Ian really enjoyed seeing all the architecture. From, He's well into his architecture. Yeah, he, he is. So they, I think they did enjoy it. And I'm sorry we're so rubbish at filming that we haven't got that bit on film. But check out Magenta After Travel. Subscribe to them. It's a great little channel. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we little will, channels, bigger than ours. Yes, bigger than ours. We will give them a nice big cheers as we say to you all. Cheers, cheers to the good times. Why does the River Mersey run through Liverpool? I don't know. Because if it walks, somebody would nick its watch. Ah. Uh...